What is going on friends and welcome to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick overview of strip mining in 1.17 and as you can see here we are looking at some mining in 1.16.5 as well to get a little comparison to uh, what mining was like before 1.17 and how it has changed since. So the way that we're going to be looking at mining in 1.17 is we are going to do a comparison uh, of an hour long strip mine session in both 1.16.5 and 1.17 to see what strip mining is like in both and the yields it gives in both updates. Uh, if you want to see what 1.17 does, stick around to the end and you'll see exactly uh, how many diamonds, how much redstone, everything we collected in 1.17. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of different Minecraft content, and you're gonna want to see all our new update content and the Hermitcraft Season 8 content that we have coming out very soon. So, how exactly I went about this is I strip mined in both 1.16.5 and 1.17 for an hour straight. I used iron picks and diamond picks just to get a little comparison of what time is like in both since there are some new blocks in 1.17 that you have to consider, uh, mainly deep slate which changes uh, strip mining completely. Uh, it's very annoying to work through because it takes so much longer to break, especially uh, when you're mining things like deep slate iron ore or any of the new ores in their deep slate forms. Diamonds are very interesting because they have pretty similar rates to 1.16.5 and 1.17. Of course, if you're playing on Bedrock Edition right now, diamonds are pretty much impossible to find, but don't worry, Mojang says they're working on it and it will be a fix very soon, so you won't really have to worry about those diamond rates anymore. I did this with no enchantments, so something else you're going to have to keep in mind is that Fortune 3 is going to be a lot better in uh, the 1.17 update than it currently is in 1.16.5. Uh, that's mainly because iron ore, gold ore, and copper can all have uh, the fortune used on them now, so you're going to be able to get a lot more of those ores than you are in the 1.16.5 version. So let's go ahead and look at what I found exactly in the 1.16 update, and as you can see here, we have about 5 stacks of lapis, 40 diamonds, 50 gold, uh, about nine and a half stacks of uh, coal, about five stacks of iron, and 20 stacks of redstone. All things considered, this is actually some pretty good uh, rates, uh, considering I only mined for an hour. So I actually got a lot of supplies and I definitely set myself up for a great early game Minecraft uh, with some quick mining. Now let's look at what I got in the new update. So I got about 4 stacks of iron which is a stack less uh, than the 1.16 update but if you think about it you can now, now use fortune 3 on that so that's going to change it drastically. I found less coal and a lot more redstone I'd say uh, about 3 stacks more of redstone and about 3 stacks less of coal. I found only one less diamond and 4 stacks less of lapis. We had the same rates of gold, however, and of course we now get copper as well. You're now going to get a lot more iron and gold as well as copper uh, because you can use Fortune 3 on these ores. That's going to change the game drastically, but unfortunately it looks like you're going to find a lot less lapis, which is going to be a slight issue if you're trying to do a lot of enchanting. Early game mining is definitely going to suck though because you have to work your way through deep slate while trying to strip mine which is actually the worst because it takes so long to mine it, especially if you're using an iron or a diamond pickaxe with absolutely no enchantments. It takes forever. Once you do get enchanted though, mining is going to be great because you're going to get way more materials than you did in the 1.16 update. That being said, mining overall is probably a little bit easier in the previous updates because you didn't have to work your way through deep slate or tough or any of the other new materials. So that is going to change the game but things are all going to be very different once 1.18 comes out later this year. That's going to include all the new world generation, including massive new caves and things like that, which is definitely going to change how we strip mine and if we even need to strip mine at all. It may be much better just to work your way through the caves and collect what you're able to see. However, they are changing the rates at which diamonds uh, spawn when they see air, so that is going to be interesting to see how exactly you have to mine to be able to find a lot of diamonds and materials in the 1.1 update, 
which we will of course cover as soon as snapshots start coming out very soon. Basically, mining has gotten a little more difficult, but worth it because you're going to get a lot more materials once you're enchanted in 1.17. So definitely go get your enchantments ready and done for 1.17 so you're able to get the most out of your mining trips. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of new Minecraft content. We're going to be going over a lot of the 1.17 update. And of course, we are going to be covering Hermitcraft completely. So don't miss out and hit that sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.